Okay, this time let's convert bearings to azimuths. Axis pair, right? North, south, east, west. This time let's draw some lines. Okay. If we call this P and Q and R and S and T, then let's put some angles in here. If they're bearings, those bearings are going to go from here and here, starting at north, going to the east or west, starting here at south and going to the east or going to the west. In fact, let's put some numbers on this. Let's say this is, oh, let's call this guy north, 62 east. Let's call this one south, uh, 21 east. Let's call this one south, 69 west, and then let's call this one north, uh, 28 degrees west. All right, so how are we going to convert these? Well, we said before in converting azimuths to bearings that the bearing angle matches the azimuth angle in the northeast quadrant. And that certainly is true. So in the northeast quadrant, bearing angle equals azimuth angle. Okay? Okay, so when we are working in the southeast quadrant, what are we looking for? We are looking for this angle right there, aren't we? from north down to uh, our line PS. So how are we going to get it? Well, in our case, here in the southeast quadrant, we're going to take uh, 180 degrees minus this bearing angle. And that will equal our azimuth angle, right? So when I, when I do this, I'm going to have 180 minus 21 degrees, which is going to give me, uh, that's not 161, that's 159, isn't it? Okay. 159 in this case. So, this will be 159 degrees. Just, just like last time I forgot to give you an answer. This is 62 degrees azimuth on that quadrant. This one's 159 here. So then let's take a look at the um, southwest quadrant. This is going to sound awful familiar, uh, because it's related to this 180 thing, right? We know that this is 69 degrees past 180. We said this direction here is 180. So 180 degrees plus the bearing angle is going to give us our azimuth angle. See it? And then up to the northwest quadrant, it should be no surprise that since we're dealing with north, but we're going in the counterclockwise direction, we're going to work with 360 degrees here, aren't we? So we're going to take 360 degrees minus our bearing angle. And that will equal our azimuth 
angle. So in this case, 360 minus 28 is going to give us 332, isn't it? So here we have 332 degrees. Here, down in the southwest quadrant, 180 plus 69 is going to give you, what, 249? See that? So converting bearing to azimuth and azimuth to bearing is based on relationships of 0, 90, 180, and 360. Okay?